73rd Lehigh Valley Amateur Golf Tournament is now in the meat of its schedule. Match play beginning with today's round of 64. Brian Johnson won last year's amateur and is one of several former champions in the field. Tom Mikran set the scene from the Green Pond Country Club. The Lehigh Valley Amateur always features an across-the-board representation of the area's best golfers. Although there are added divisions for junior and junior high golfers, some teams still prefer to compete in the premier championship bracket. I uh, wanted to see how I'd do compared to last year, and uh, the junior didn't catch on a whole lot this year, which is too bad. A lot of players dropped out, and uh, I really wanted to challenge myself against the best players around. Sarah Brown is playing in her fourth and final amateur before pursuing a career in professional golf. She was paired with another teenager in today's first round, Moravian Academy's Eric Iverson. I'm glad to be back, of course. Um, great tournament. Um, hopefully I can, you know, get pretty deep into it this year. You know, so just play my own game. It's just great to be back here. What would it mean for you if you actually won this thing? Uh, that, that, would, that would mean a lot, but, you know, uh, we've, I've just as good a chance of beating her as she is beating me, I guess, so... Guys like Robin McCool and Dominic Carr know what it takes to win the amateur. The two golfers have four championships between them. McCool captured his two crowns in 1986 and 2002. Dominic dominated in 94 and 98. More nerves than ever before, I'll tell you that. It was easier when I was younger than it is now. Uh, it's more pain in my body since I'm older. Uh, but uh, you like to think that people are still worried about playing you since you won it twice. A couple of guys in the field are coming off noteworthy achievements. John just does a heck of a job out here. It's just incredible, and it's, it's the best talent in the Valley, and, and everybody's out here, and if you win this, I mean, you've really done something. I've been very pleased with the way I played this year, and uh, so far this week, Monday qualifying, played in the better ball with a friend of mine on Tuesday, uh, Brian and I, and we, and we played very well, played solid, and uh, I feel like um, I'm going to make a good run. I'm feeling pretty good. The allure of match play can be overwhelming. Match play, you, you do, you get lost in this. You do not realize what you're shooting. In metal play, it's, uh, you realize what the score is, and it's your score. It has nothing to do with anybody else until the end of the round. In match play, you get lost in the score, and it is, every hole is like a little tournament in itself. There's just uh, a whole different mindset going into it. You're playing uh, not only the opponent, uh, not only golf course, but also the opponent. It's a little different. You can, you know, go for shots that you know, wouldn't normally go for. You can, you know, lay back on some putts. You know, if you just have to two putt to win a hole, you know, you don't go as aggressively at it, you know. So a whole different mindset, you know, and it, it's more fun. It's, you know, very competitive, so it's a lot of fun. On the scene at Green Pond Country Club, Tom Mike Rantz, Do Sports.